Well, the family of uh, Jacob Olanya has presented another family member to the country and uh, this person is expected to replace Jacob Olanya in parliament representing Omoro County. Yes, that is the latest I have on the Buzz UG. A very good afternoon. How are you doing? Thank you so much for subscribing to the Buzz UG. Our target is 10k subscribers and of course we are yet there. So what you have to do, subscribe in case you haven't and uh, tap on the bell for all the notifications. Now, recently, Jacob Olanya's brother, that is Francis, revealed that as a family, they are going to sit down and see who fits to replace Jacob Olanya as a member of parliament in the next elections. And guess what? Uh, the family has already presented Andrew Ojok Olanya to replace his father as Omoro County member of parliament. And according to reports, NRM officials in northern Uganda have already picked interest in him and uh, he might come as a flag bearer for NRM in the coming elections. Now, I know you must be asking yourself, who is Ojok? Is he qualified to replace his father, Jacob Olanya? Uh, who is he? Talk to us about him. Anyway, I have the answer right here. First of all, Ojok is uh, Jacob Olanya's elder son, and uh, he's a senior IT specialist with the National Information Technology Authority, commonly known as NITA Uganda. So I'm yet to confirm if the NRM party is going to endorse him in the coming election, but I'll keep you posted right here on the Buzz UG. Now, in other news, the UPDF Engineering Brigade has started refurbishing the house of former Speaker of Parliament Jacob Olanya at his ancestral home in Omoro District. And according to reports, this team embarked on the works shortly after President Museveni promised to support the construction of this unfinished house Olanya was building in the village. It should be remembered that um, elders in Acholi region, a few days after learning of Olanya's death, uh, they called upon the government to help finish the building right there for remembrance members of their son, Jacob Olanya. And right now, the elders are very happy because the construction works have resumed. Yes, I think that is good news right there. And uh, of course, a section of Ugandans are questioning, is President Museveni using taxpayers' money or, you know, this is coming from his pocket as President Museveni? <laughs> Let's hope he's not using taxpayers' money to refurbish or to continue with the construction of the unfinished house of Jacob Olanya right there in Omoro district. But yeah, that is the latest good news from uh, that side of Omoro and uh, I'll keep you posted. But also, we are still waiting for the burial program that was promised to be out tomorrow by the Minister of Presidency, that is uh, Babalanda. Yes, Babalanda, you remember the other day she came out and said that uh, she will produce you know, the burial program on Tuesday and of course we are still waiting on that. Right here on the Buzz UG, I told you I'll keep you posted on anything that comes up so what you have to do, subscribe in case you haven't and also tap on the bell for all the notifications. Thank you.